Hey everybody. So this video is going to be a little different and kind of casual, but this is the channel where I want to do just different and casual things from time to time, just kind of for fun. And today I thought I would try out that idea that if you folded a piece of paper in half 40 times, it would go to the moon. Now, clearly you can't literally get a piece of paper to the moon by folding it 40 times. In fact, you can't fold a piece of paper 40 times. I believe the limit is seven. Uh, Mythbusters using a huge sheet of paper and construction equipment, I think managed to squeeze out an eighth fold, but realistically you can fold a piece of paper in half seven times and that's about it. So we're going to try that. Um, and then we'll do some calculations and see if you could keep folding a paper, piece of paper that many times, would it actually get to the moon? So I guess the first thing we need to do is establish a few facts. First off, how thick is a piece of paper? And it looks like that's something people search for, I guess. Uh, thickness of 0.05 to 0.1 millimeters. So I guess just to be really on the fair side, we'll estimate low. So I made a little spreadsheet here. We will go 0.05 for our thickness. That's with zero folds. So I guess to calculate this, you would just multiply each number by two for every fold that you did. So I guess the next thing we need to know then is how far is it to the moon? Uh, 238,000 miles. And since we're starting with millimeters for our, the thickness of our paper, let's do this in kilometers. So the moon is 384,400 kilometers. So I guess if we fold a piece of paper in half, if the thickness comes to 384,400 kilometers, then I guess technically it's thick enough to get to the moon. So <laughs> let's start trying this out, I suppose. I'll start by giving this piece of paper one fold. I have a sheet of paper here. You should be able to see it on my secondary camera. Fold it in half. And I hope that's not coming through too, too loudly on the microphone. That's one fold of a sheet of paper. So that would be B2 times two. Not a lot of tough math here so far. We've gotten to 0.1 millimeters of thickness. Let's fold it in half a second time copy this here. And that gets us 0.2 millimeters. So if you're not looking at how much it's budging out, this is about 0.2 millimeters. Fold it a third time. Press it down as well as I can. And we'll multiply one more time. Third fold gets us 0.4 millimeters. So let's do a fourth fold. This is already getting a little, little hard to press down. So fourth fold, we get 0.8 millimeters. So already the piece of paper is this small and is this thick. Obviously, as we start to gain thickness, we're going to lose a lot in our uh, square inches or centimeters or whatever of paper. So let's do another fold. This is already getting very difficult to fold. We're getting a little messy here. If this were down to a pure fold, which is probably not, because I'm kind of just bending it and mashing it up, we would be at 1.6 millimeters. So a sixth fold. This is really getting really messy here. I don't think I'm getting a, a pure measure of what you'd get by full, like just doubling the thickness of a piece of paper. But in theory, this is going to be 3.2 millimeters. This is just kind of trash at this point. I'm not gonna get a seventh fold out of this. There's no way I'm getting this in half a seventh time. So let's just give up on the whole <laughs> actual folding a piece of paper thing. So if we were to just accelerate this a little bit, obviously six folds, 3.2 millimeters, quite an increase in thickness. But clearly, at least intuitively, this doesn't feel like we're getting anywhere in the neighborhood of getting to the moon. So I'm not going to take you, make you sit through each of these one at a time. So we'll just paste a few of these in here. Let's, now let's just hop up to 10 first. Uh, at 10, we're starting to see a little bit of the power of exponential growth here. Just by doubling, we're already up to 51.2 millimeters. So, so let's add on five more folds, say. By the time we're at 15 folds, we would be 1,638.4 uh, millimeters. By 20, we are at 
52,428.8. So by that point, we are at half a kilometer. So we're nowhere in the neighborhood of getting to the moon or anywhere like that. But for folding a piece of paper in half multiple times, you can tell how this is getting a little bit dramatic. So let's just accelerate this a little bit. Let's just go up to 30. Uh, so these numbers grow pretty quickly. By the time you folded the sheet of paper in half 30 times, you are at 53,687.91.2 millimeters, which is just over 53 and a half kilometers. So uh, you can see about where this is headed. So if we were to take this down to 35 folds, and by the time we're at this distance, I think I'm just going to add on an automatic conversion to kilometers because uh, these numbers of millimeters don't really do anything for me at all. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a sense of perspective for that. So we'll convert this to kilometers. And by the time we are at 35 folds of the sheet of paper, we are at 1,717, almost uh, 1,718 uh, kilometers. So this is pretty much impossible in terms of an actual thickness of a sheet of paper. But let's keep going though. The math probably doesn't lie, right? So it looks like by 40 folds, we are at 59,975 and a half kilometers. So I guess by this point, we're not even anywhere in the neighborhood of the moon. So maybe this is just wrong. Maybe I just estimated really small for the piece of paper and that's what did it. So let's just continue this on. Obviously, even though we aren't to the moon, you're starting to see the point of this thought experiment bear out. The fact that you can fold a piece of paper in half and by doing that within a number that is pretty comprehensible to us, even though you can't actually keep folding it that much, you can't imagine sitting there folding a piece of paper uh, 40 times. And the fact that doing that gets you actually 54, almost 55,000 kilometers, that says something, right? Even though we haven't really got to the moon. So we'll just add a couple more folds here. And you can probably even just intuitively estimate where this is going. Uh, we're not dealing with really sophisticated math at this point. We're just doubling three more times. So by 42 folds, we are not quite there yet. Uh, 219,902 out of our 384,000 kilometers that we need to get to. Uh, by 43 folds, obviously, though, we are well past the moon at 403,804.6 kilometers. So uh, I guess... Using my obviously really rough estimates, I just Googled thickness of a sheet of paper, picked the smallest one, and then multiplied 40 some times. Uh, that gets us well past the moon, at least in mathematical terms. Clearly that wouldn't happen. Um, like I said, you can't even fold it that many times. But one other obstacle, obviously, is a piece of paper simply doesn't have that much mass. And I guess one way to approach this would be to look at the consequences of folding in terms of how it would impact the square dimensions of the sheet of paper. So let's just type in how many square inches is a piece of paper. Not inches, inches. I'm doing inches because millimeters was kind of hard to look up. But uh, we are 93.5 square inches. So we'll go to another spreadsheet and enter our 93.5 square inches. And then we'll just take be two divided by two. So instead of multiplying by two, we're going to divide in half. So folding it in half is going to make it 46.75. We're just gonna go right to the chase on this one. Let's paste it down to 40. Uh, I'm not even gonna bother with 41, 42, and 43, because by the time we get down to 40, we are just playing at zero. So really, I don't even know how to register these numbers. By the time we're at 39, I'm just gonna paste this in as text. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros before we get to our one seven. I don't even know how to process that number. Maybe I could ask my son for perspective. He's more into math than I am. You know, I'm a former English teacher. But you can see as the piece of paper is getting this uh, thick enough to reach the moon, even well before then, it's incomprehensibly small in terms of square inches. So uh, it's an interesting thought experiment, but the piece of paper doesn't even have the mass to do that. Clearly, we would know that intuitively. So I guess we learned that uh, in terms of sheer doubling the thickness, a piece of paper could get to the moon. Uh, 
40 didn't quite bear out based on the numbers I threw in there, but the fact that we got well past the moon by 43 folds, I think kind of shows the point. So I hope that was a little bit of fun for you. I kind of enjoyed playing with it. Uh, anyway, have a good day, everybody.